Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Richard Kitchen Master, the Six Figure Tutor. Um, and I'm actually coming here um, on Christmas Day. It is uh, December 25th, 2020. This is going to be the last YouTube video of the year for the Six Figure Tutor uh uh, YouTube channel, so it's pretty exciting. So I wanted to do one that I think is going to be really, really helpful and beneficial for you guys um, for the next year coming up. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is how to set up and structure your goals in bite-sized ways in a systematic way where um, you could actually crush 2021 and make it the best year of your life. So with that being said, guys, uh, if you guys could do me a favor, just take a second, scroll down, and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed uh, to the channel already. I really appreciate it, and let's go. Awesome guys, so let's dive right on in to the video. So check it out, I got this little diagram here. Um, I know it's not the most neat diagram in the world, but I'm gonna do my best here. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about here is the BHAG, B-H-A-G. Now what the B BHAG is, it's your big, hairy, audacious goal right that's the goal that you're like you're, you're you're chasing that's the goal you're working for right and you want this goal to be a combination of things you want it to one be something that is materialistic because a lot of times you know material items do drive us like your dream car or a newer car or you know that you know awesome mountain bike you always wanted or the motorcycle right but at the same time you also want it to be something of experience right so like my BHAG uh, you can't see there's a whiteboard right next to me and um, my BHAG is always there and I read it every single morning and it drives me um, so I have a financial goal I also want to take my um, mom on an African safari trip because she's always dreamed of going to Africa so I think that'd be really cool um, and then I also have always wanted to lease the BMW i8. Um, and so those are really big goals for me and those things kind of drive me towards. And so everything is gonna be like based on trying to accomplish that BHAG. Um, and so a lot of this stuff I learned from my mentor. Um, I don't know the original creator of the BHAG or I'd uh, credit them, but my mentor has kind of spoken a lot about this and um, he's a very uh, systems and processes guy. So um, with that being said, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to start with your BHAG. Um, and so just get that on paper and, and that's it's, it's just make it fun, right? And so make it something that's not super unrealistic, like I want to make you know a billion dollars, um, but have it something attainable, but also um, stretches your comfort zone. So you don't want to make it super attainable because um, you want to have to work for it, right? Now up here, we're gonna have, and you can just do this on a piece of paper or something. You're gonna have uh, your time frames, okay? So you're gonna have your daily goals. You're gonna have your weekly goals. You're gonna have your monthly goals, your quarterly goals, and then your yearly goals, okay? And so how this works is under your daily goals, those are going to be the things you want to get done today, right? So you're going to have to do those every single day. And so if you guys have watched my previous video, um, I forgot I forgot the title of it, but basically I talk about planning today or uh, planning tomorrow today. So basically at the end of every night, you want to plan your next day, the goals for that day, the day before. So when you wake up, you have a plan of action, and you know what you're doing that day. So your daily goals would be like, you know, um, ask three customers for testimonials, right? Um, you know, create a lead magnet so I can collect emails. Um, another daily goal could be like get five emails for today, right? Um, or, you know, talk to 10 different people and let them know about my business, things like that. So you have your daily goals, your weekly goals, your weekly goals, um, are going to be you know things like I want to get one new student this week, right? Um, I want to collect 25 more emails for my email list. Um, you know, I want to add $500 um, in recurring revenue. 
Um, so th these are going to be the goals that you want to accomplish this week. Okay. Um, your monthly goals. And the cool thing is, remember, each one of these sections drives the next. So at the end of the week, you want to evaluate and see, okay, which goals did you come short? Which goals did you surpass? And then that's going to help you stay on target because now you have something to measure for your monthly goal. Does that make sense? So every week you can be adjusting um, these things and adjusting your actions to try to make sure you hit you're not, you know, you're on target for your monthly goals, right? So your monthly goals could be like, I want to have get five new students this month or five new students every month. I want to add, you know, a thousand dollars in revenue to my tutoring business. Um, I want to hire one employee. I want to X, Y, or Z, right? So these are your monthly goals. Then you have your quarterly goals, right? Which is every three months. Um, and so your quarterly goals could be like, I want 15 or 20 new students. Um, you know, within the next three months, right? Um, I want to grow my email list by a thousand emails, right? Um, stuff like that. So these are going to be the, the things that you want to accomplish every quarter. Now, every quarter is going to change. So every three months, you're going to have the next one, right? So these are things that are constantly changing. And then you're going to have your yearly goal, uh, which is really based off of this BHAG. So your yearly goal could be like, you know, I want to, I want to grow my company to, you know, ten thousand dollars a month in revenue. Have five employees. Um, you know, I want to serve, you know, thirty students, and you know, etc. So each one of these things, they're like the goals are all going to be unique to you, right? So these are just examples I'm giving you. They don't have to be that. I mean, if those are your goals, awesome. But if not, take some time, take an hour, and like have this be fun and think it through. Um, before 2021 so you could just hit the ground running and you know exactly how you want to proceed for that year. If you guys have any questions, um, I also have a free Facebook community. Um, there's going to be a link in the description. Join that if you haven't. Um, and you could post your BHAG. I actually urge you, like, post your, you know, post your, post your goals for 2021. Uh, let us look at it. Let me look at it. Um, and let us hold you accountable, right? So being held accountable is a big thing. So, so you're going to write your goals for your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Okay. Once you have that under here, it's very important because you got to, you're going to want to write the how. So how am I going to accomplish this goal, right? And you want to have something called, it's called a North Star metric. And essentially what that is, is that the, that's the one metric that you're really going to base your goals off of. So the North Star metric, a lot of times for me and for my mentor was our email list. So how many people can we get on that list? Because we know that if we grow that list, um, we're going to be in return able to make more money, make more impact and serve more people, right? Cause the money's in the list. So, um, I know for my mentor, he would like literally his entire business was driven off of growing that list. So his goals were like, get 25 emails a day, right? You know, after the year I want, you know, 20,000 emails or whatever. Um, Oh, <laughs> my cat's going wild. Cool. So, um, yeah, so anyways, you want to have that North Star metric. And so the how is going to be, you know, like my daily, like I'm going to wake up every day at 6 a.m. And I'm just going to, you know, start like crushing my goals, right? Your weekly is going to be like, I'm going to, you know, commit to making phone calls every day. Or I'm going to commit to making Facebook ads every day. Or I'm going to commit to however you want to achieve those goals. You want to write under here. How are you going to accomplish your monthly goals? How are you going to accomplish your quarterly goals, and then how are you gonna accomplish your yearly goals, okay? And now this, like, don't overcomplicate it, just get it down, just start it, lay it out. It's better to have something, you know, that's not perfect than have nothing at all. Um, like I said, you know, I'd be more happy uh, to look at it for you guys, but do this, have it be fun, have it be exciting. It's a really, really cool thing, especially if you've never done something like this before. It might be a little bit weird, you might have some questions, but just do your best to get it done and you're going to have a much clearer path to success than if you just wake up in 2021 and you're like, 
you know, how am I gonna how am I gonna navigate this year? You need a plan, you need a direction, you need a roadmap, right? And this is kind of the basics, you know, the very first start to that roadmap to actually accomplishing your goals. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of like driving your car um, to a destination where you have no direction, no GPS, and you're just kind of hoping you're going in the right way, right? That's how a lot of people navigate their life. But if you have a plan, this is kind of like your GPS, right? This is the GPS to your success, to your goals, and to what you want to accomplish. So even if it's not a perfect GPS, um, it's going to be much better to have it than not. So with that being said, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it all made sense. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, um, just join the Facebook community, ask in there, post in there. And with that being said, guys, please take the time to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button in the, uh, in the description down there below this video. And love you guys. Merry Christmas. Hope all of your freaking wishes and dreams came true this year. And I will see you guys next year.